Honestly, boys, something will never change. Uh, the biggest example of something will never change is like, for example, these Russian guys are right now who are like Uzbekistan Russian guys who are currently paying my house. They're doing a phenomenal job paying my house. Who? Oh, by the way, phenomenal job paying my house. Paying, it's great. But I asked, I told them because like we there was a language barrier, we couldn't really talk that well. I told them about to learn English so I could be better off for them and think they're like fuck English what about English something will never change my friends on video games they don't change and you still keep playing the video games like surely you wouldn't play video games after a really long day being productive and etc etc but you're not productive and they call no, I want to play video games to relax but you're hyper stimulated your mouth breathing when you play. <gasps> push me, in, push me, in. go, go. It's literal degeneracy. I so I recorded myself playing video games. That's what it was like. My friends, I saw them as they were playing video games on like a voice call. And they're like, like the mouse keyboard. That's the type of people that will argue against you. That's the type of people that will berate you. Video games is all a cult. Some people never change. They just cope. Cope, 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 cope. They just never change their life because of it. Subsequently. Good. Good. I'll just get ahead. Some people never change. Good. I'll keep going, grinding my YouTube. I'll keep grinding my shit. Phenomenal. You don't want these people to change. You want to change them anyway. You can only help the individuals that are trying to change, that in the midst of trying to change. You can only help them. I don't push the self improvement thing onto anyone anymore. I have this camera, I push it onto the camera, and then I put then that subsequently push it onto YouTube. Into YouTube viewers. I don't want these people to change. Why? Because I I it literally I literally can't make them change if I want to. So even if I wanted to. So the point is for me to want them to make them change. It's an uphill battle. Where they have guns. And I have butt knives. I'm a fucking jump. Just use the butt knife, throw it, and it lands directly in his eye. And I'll grab the gun and I'll fucking. Nah, I'm not like that. I'm a human being. I'm probably gonna get fucking shot and, and killed with a butt knife. For one man against a million. A thousand against a million. I don't like those odds. Oh, I like them, right? yeah, yeah, great, yeah. Oh, it's so hard, cool. Fucking take the battle. Nah. Some people will never change. Oh, full stop. I remember a while back, I was seeing someone say this, like a very long time ago, two years ago, before I really was on my self journey. They said that some people come to this country, they come to England, or they come to like the US or any Western country, and they do the same exact shit that they were doing back in their country. Like, and then there was like a video of a guy who was organizing cardboard on the street in the UK. And I was thinking to myself, like, holy shit, that's so true. They come to this country, and in, in their country, they're doing the same exact shit, like organizing cardboard. They come to the UK, organizing cardboard, hoping and expecting a better life. But it's all just gonna be the same mundane, poverty-stricken bullshit, with like some added, added benefits from the government, fucking welfare. And they never change. That's people. <sighs> like I, I recently talked to my friend before. And then he wants to, um, he was still playing video games with him, which I'm retarded. He's not even good at video games, by the way. He's trash. I, like, I told him to his face, he's trash. I genuinely firmly believe he's trash. Like, he didn't listen to me a single time in Apex. Didn't listen to me a single time in Rainbow. He just got fucked, 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 fucked on. He just got destroyed in these games. I told him to just stop playing. And he agreed with me for Apex. And he went on for Six Siege. And he started streaming that as well on Discord. 
I kind of got offended that he was streaming that on Discord. I was offended because his gameplay wasn't even fucking good, and it was still waiting to stream to me. And waste my time and waste his time. I had this whole speech around him, talking to him like I was quite personal issues. I don't want to talk about that. I heard something that resonated with him, which like inspired a change in him, but only for that brief moment. It's cool to me. No, 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 cool. And I said, God made you bad at video games for a reason. He's a Christian. He's a very quite fun Christian as well. I said, imagine you were, you were good at video games. How would your life pan out? You'll be completely invested in video games. You'll be a bigger geek than you are now. You wouldn't be able to stop playing the video games. You're trying to make a career out of the video games. And before you know it, you're fucking thirty still playing fucking video games. Or, on the flip side, you could be really good at art. And art is respected by a lot of people in the, in the modern day. There's so many more girls with art. You can sell it off of millions. You can live a lifestyle with all those millions that you could not possibly dream of. Beautiful cars, all that. You imagine your dream car, like some uh, Nissan Supra. 105, 108, such a number. Or Mitsubishi, one of the Mitsubishi fucking supercars that he really liked as well. You could, you could get one of them with money. Just throw money at these people and you get the cars. Well, that's entirely possible. But you don't know that. You don't know that if you've got an heart or not. Because you gave up. Now it's too late. Some people never change their lives, man. I don't w w wish for him. I don't wait for him to change. And he tried to start working out recently. He followed my plan, which is stupid because my plan is quite intense. But like, I think I'm pretty sure he's gone back to the video game like a fucking spurk. And I, I, I literally told him I'll give it up on him. It's completely and utterly. I told him in person, on video call, my camera. I looked directly in the camera. I told him I'll give it up on you. Text, person. I told him in person. I give up on him. He knows where I fucking live. He can come over. I said, bro, why the fuck are you here? I give it up on you. Do your, do your thing. Play Siege. Come on, come on, keep playing Siege. Come on, come on, keep playing fucking Siege. Go on, get, get, get Platinum. Get Diamond. I don't know what the rest of the rights are. Champion. Yeah, get Champion. Grind for Champion. Roll to Champion. Get all the Operators. Yo, all the Operators. Wow, I'm so cool. Go, go, go. Get them. Get them. Keep playing. See where the fuck you end up. End up. See where the fuck you end up. Fucking nowhere. Some people will never change the gentleman. And I don't give a fuck. You have to be ruthless like that. Of course I would wish them to give it to change. There's some somewhere deep down in my heart I want them to change, but they're not going to change. It's not gonna happen. And wishing them wishing for the impossible is completely and utterly pointless. And it'll, it'll fuck me up, fuck you up, it'll fuck everything up. Peace.